a bit of a different thing all of a sudden, but I had to mend my pickaxe up a bit, and I decided to take a break from what I was doing. You'll find that I like to jump around from one thing to another, like, a lot, but I feel like I really need to work on getting this done, so that way I can use it to get, uh, fix up my pickaxe instead of having to go mine for quartz, which uh, I've got a shulker box full of quartz. Like, I just had to craft it into quartz blocks just now because I got, I've got plenty of quartz and I'm not even using it. Meanwhile, I have just one more Nautilus shell to find, and in order to make this area be a little easier to take care of. <laughs> All right, I. See you when I catch this shell. Oh my gosh, I'd even have to cut the film. I caught the shell on my first one. I love Luck of the C3. It's so lucky. But, um, tss. wow, that is just. Amazing! I almost forgot to put this back in my ender chest. <laughs> I am thrilled. <laughs> okay, so it's what, like 90 radius, right? Where is, okay, there's my first one. And let me just check to see if it is 90 radius. Alright guys, so it seems that a lost bit of footage. I did place my a new Nautilus conduit thing. But then I cut straight to moving a beacon into my work zone. Alright, I've set the beacon up. So now I got conduit power plus haste. I only have one beacon, otherwise I'd probably put something in combat related to get rid of these guys a little safer. Oh gosh. All right, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm probably going to die. Okay, shield does not help, apparently. Put those spikes away. So at this point, I have finally built a full beacon. I got the Beaconator achievement, and now I have regeneration and haste, which is going to help so much, not only for helping me clear this out faster, but also so that way I don't get killed so easily by the guardians. Or I haven't been being killed, but I've been on my guard a lot which has slowed me down a lot. So I can't really focus on 
mining whenever I have to focus on not dying. Look, hard in half. Oh, I'm getting hurt a lot. Uh, maybe the regeneration isn't as potent as I was thinking it was. I think I might have to go make some potions. And so I'll do that in a few minutes here. But the idea is I, I'm tired of having to get my pickaxe all fixed up again like every single time it gets low, low on durability. So what I want to do is I want to turn this into a guardian farm that I can use the my mending enchantment to just fix everything up by killing some guardians. All right. <clears throat> All right, so I never seem to have found Oh crap. I never seem to have found any Nether warts. So, I want to make a potion of invisibility, but this nether fortress down here, it didn't spawn any, any of the nether warts. So, I need to find another one and see if it's got any. First, I want to check in this direction. And I'm getting a little bit of quartz as I go along, so that way I can repair my pickaxe. No! No! I didn't have my elytra on. I didn't have my elytra on. I hit solid hit solid
Okay, inventory check. Okay, got my shield. Oh, that's a bummer. It looks like the thing that I lost was my sword. Bye bye, sword. Wasn't the worst thing to lose. Uh, probably was the. Or if anything enchanted, that was probably the one thing I was okay with losing. It only takes two diamonds to make another one. And whatever enchantments I had on it, I'll just have to make. Get have those again. Oh! You try and finish me off here. Well, too bad. I did not lose my bow. Well, now that I have plenty of rockets, Let's do something really stupid. <laughs> yeah, let's fly through the nether. For that matter, what do I do when I find one? Go in and looking for nether wart and die to some wither skeletons? That's probably what I'll do. All right. There we go. Right, found it. I cannot fight any weather skeletons. He's in close combat because I will die. Oh, this is the type of area where I'm looking for. Yay! I got what I need. Now I'm going to riskily dare to check out the rest of this fortress. I'm gonna get myself killed. Here's the type of room I was actually looking for. It's time to work on finding my way back and now there's all these gas noises. Found another one. I'm gonna die now. Yes.
All right, so I got out of the nether, got my, got a new sword created, sharpness two and mending. And over here, a slime has escaped the farm. It looks so big. Wait, actually, something I want to see. Some a little bit, a little experiment I was thinking about today that I want to try. I hope he doesn't despawn while I'm doing this. What happens to a slime when you split it? If you renamed it. Also an upside down slime is just a slime with its face upside down. <laughs> oh yes, it works. <laughs> That's amazing. That's awesome. We got a bunch of little dinner bones. And these are not going to despawn because of their name. And they're not going to hurt me because they're so small. Yeah. <laughs> little pets. These ones are getting drowned, I think. Okay, this time, they won't be bugging me. Once they start attacking me, I'm gonna drink this potion of invisibility and not have to worry about them. And it lasts for eight minutes. So, I guess it's time for time lapse? Yeah, let's do it.
So as it would turn out, guardians can shoot you while you're invisible. But hey, out of the things that I just learned today, the AI, uh, I really like my new pet slime that's upside down. That so many name tags would have been used to get this many of them. They've all scattered. I I'm going to try to get some of them back in place, but uh, until next time, later.